we are watching NXT take over the end. The first match that we are recording is The Revival versus American Alpha. Who do you have for this match? I want American Alpha. But yeah. One championship. I love both teams, but we'll see what happens. And it would make sense for Dash and Dawson to win. Well, especially since American Alpha just won a month ago. And I'm sorry, two months ago. And the Revival just lost to Logano and Ciampa. I don't know if it's oh, true. That's and it does it better. They cut that ring in half, and if you're in the Revival's corner, it's bad news for you. I just hope this match is better than NXT TakeOver Dallas, because that was super, super sloppy. So we'll see. I have hopes, though. I have high hopes for this. That's wow! Oh my god, yes! Wilder fucking... Oh. Dawson, you are everything! Wow, that makes me... So, a drop kick into a German suplex. I'm slain. I'm literally slain. Match is amazing. This is awesome, Chance. It is. How did I not finish it? Oh, you see this match got me hype. It's already the first match. I'm ready. Ooh, Wilder. Wilder pulled Jordan right off the apron. Gable's still legal in the ring. Oh. Boyne's going for a DDT there for a second. Oh, ankle lock to Dawson. Oh, Jack Swagger. Can Wilder hang, can Dawson hang on? Scott Dawson caught the man. Where's Kurt Angle at? Oh, shit. Oh, that could be it. Yes! Oh. Gable kicks out. Whoa. Oh my god! Both men are that the fuck was that? That was like a belly to belly suplex. Reverse from Gable that. to Dawson. What the fuck? That was everything! That should have easily finished it. That should have finished it in all actuality. That was so fucking amazing. Jordan and Gable's mom. Oh, maybe. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Gable. Shit. The revival one? What is the point of that? Wow. Great match, but. Such an amazing match. You guys need to check this match out. So good. Um, the only thing I can think is the American Alpha are going to be elevated to the main roster, like, tomorrow. So, that's the only thing that makes sense. Also, now that, you know, American Alpha won at Mania, and now the Revival won tonight, I'm sensing a two out of three falls at Summer's of uh, NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, you guys. That would be awesome. That would, that would be. A trilogy series. I'm fine with that. Hopefully they go that route. I'm a little shocked. But I have heard about American Alpha going to the main roster with the brand split, so... I hope they do. Am I 100% shocked? No, because I've been hearing about it. But, that's, you know, I love the revival. I think they deserve this because... I don't think that they are going to be elevated to the main roster anytime soon, so you might as well just give them the tag belt. So, I'm fine with the outcome. You know, fucking amazing match. So good. Everybody needs to check this match out. Fucking epic. Great way to start the show. Great way to start tonight. Nakamura! Who you got? Austin Aries. Let's go, Nakamura! This crowd is insane. This could be one of the best NXT takeovers of all time. Two superstars. The match is hella technical. Oh, look at the crop kick that Nakamura saw coming on you and took his head off. Oh my god! That was insane. Everything! This match is already everything. Two minutes in. I'm slayed. Slay my fucking soul, please. This this makes me pissed off. Vince Great. never this signed Austin Aries years ago. Very different Fuck you, McMahon. What are you looking for early on? Fuck you, Vince. Be, this is all like two minutes in and I'm already slayed. Like I'm already fucking slayed. I asked Nakamura what that's about. Why he does that. He said it's to keep himself relaxed. It's the most impossible thing in the world to stay relaxed during a fight. That's why he does it. He right to the mid Fun fact, they're both undefeated. Oh. That is crazy. Austin Aries into the drop kick. 
Watch it ending with double count. Whoa! That was everything. Really had it. Nakamura saw it coming. <laughs> well, Gary, this is backing down. Both of these guys are incredible. Like, I have They're literal so goosebumps. Literal goosebumps. Like, Corbin, the very first match here on NXT. Thing is, is, Nakamura's very tall. Aries isn't. So, by default, Nakamura does have the advantage. Austin, uh, don't count Aries out. Bro. Nobody's counting Aries out. I'm just saying, by an obvious standard, look at Nakamura's height and look at Aries. Yeah, that's crazy. They're singing his theme song. Yeah! Oh, the top of the knee. See the NXT Universe chiming in on social media. Hashtag NXT TakeOver all over social media. Nakamura is going to be huge. Like, if he ever goes to the main roster, I pray they utilize him correctly. And we'll get a rematch of Wrestle Kingdom. AJ Styles versus Nakamura? Yes. Oh, Nakamura went for a couple of times. Nobody does that move anymore, you know? Is that the Dragon Sweeper? Yeah. I, I love that move. I, have a I love that move. And I actually do think it is effective. It is. It looks believable, in my opinion. It's like you're literally twisting the leg. Like, that's awesome. Down the size here on the map. WWE's gotta stop banning moves, though. Yeah, they do, because, like, perfect example, Ricochet, Will Ospreay, half of those moves in that match would not be uh, able to be allowed in uh, the main roster, which is retarded. I mean, years ago, did we see move half those moves? Probably not, well, because they didn't know how to do those moves back then. But it's just a principle. It's like, we, could, we have a, such a wide variety, and they're like, nope. I, I want to say I love the in-ring psychology, and I love the selling on Shinsuke's part. You know, I just want to say something. Take Ro take some notes, Roman Reigns. Take some notes. From both these guys. Learn from two of the greatest of all time, Austin Aries and Shinsuke Nakamura. Take some notes, Roman. Vince should be the one taking notes. You know, I bet Vince is watching, saying, Oh, I still think Roman's better. That fucking idiot. He is so out of it. I call him a geriatric retard for a reason. This is why Triple H needs to start running the company. Oh, he will. He, oh, he will. I understand. I think the only reason why Triple H. I don't want to get morbid here, but he will soon. See, that pisses me off because Aries doesn't suck. Them saying Aries sucks, like, fuck you. Aries sucks? Yes. That, that gets me annoyed. Like, why can't you just appreciate both? Like, I don't understand why you have to root for one over the other. I love Aries, but I love Nakamura, too. I'm literally fine with whoever wins. Like, I'm not going to be mad if Aries wins or, you know. I'm just choosing Nakamura because it makes sense. He's got more publicity. Wow, that punch though. Okay. I love how Nakamura is selling, putting Aries over. I love that. I love that. I have mad respect for Nakamura. These guys know how to tell a story. Wow. Whoa, and he lands. He lands. Oh, that was that. No. Oh. What the fuck? Aries is killing it! Wow! Okay. Dude, Aries is so good. So good. Like, this is awesome chance, of course. I'm trying to muscle Nakamura out onto the apron now. Oh, they're doing the punch for punch sequence. Strong style. Outside of the ring? Doesn't matter where they do it, but. If they're on the apron, you can't count them out, you fucking idiot, bruh. That kick, though. Oh my god, this match is so good. Oh no. Ah. Oh. Holy 
shit. Nakamura's neck from that move. What was that? Like an AA? No, the Death Valley Driver. Oh, okay. It was a Death Valley Driver. Similar, but... Holy shit. Nakamura's poor neck is gonna be fucking aching for days after that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did he miss? Aries about knocked himself. Oh my god, Aries fucking jumped into the barricade! He, he hit that thing! Aries had the match won though. He hit that fucking thing. I don't know. Oh my god. Yeah, that was stupid. That was stupid move on his part. I understand it's not. He was getting overzealous, that's why. King Chasa! King Chasa on Aries, oh my god. The reverse exploder to Aries, oh my god. This, this is a great match. Holy shit. Oh my god. Shinsuke did it, you guys. Yes! You know what, though? You can't yes, it. I love you. You can't knock it out. I down. love you. Amazing match. Epic. I wish that... Nia's getting a lot better though. I don't, I don't, you know, you guys can drag me for that. She is. Watch this match. She's getting a lot better. She is. Well, people are quick to criticize because... Because of her size. She doesn't look like the Irish female, that's why. But I think she's cool. I mean, I don't really, you know. You know, it's developmental. I take it for what it is. Like, who gives a fuck? You know, hey, 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 look. Rolling well, out, pushing into the main roster just yet. Yeah, yeah exactly. To one Whatever. Day. She never lets go of Oscar. That's brilliant. She missed it. Come through, Hulk Hogan. If it was that a last ditch effort, does she have anything left? Well, for the first time in this matchup, Oscar and Nia Jax both on the same playing field. But look at how quickly Nia Jax is, is back up here. Not for long. Asuka able to execute that sliding knee, but it only kept Nia down for a moment. Oh! A shot to the right arm there. Oscar preventing the strike. Nia better be careful. Asuka's so dangerous. You can't give her any opportunity. Imagine, imagine if there's another title change. This is one taking the corner for the NXT Women's Champion. Oh, oh my god. The backhand oh, from the Oh shit. Team. See, like, Asuka and Shinsuke have those, like, tough, Oscar's like, strikes. There's a hip attack. He's got a chance. Here we go. No. Oh, no. Go away, no way. No way. Jax powering out with authority. You know. How much does Oscar an ass the face is really a finish? She's she exuding every last drop of energy. doesn't have a big ass with these that's last that effective, though. Whatever, that's not the point. It just shouldn't be a finisher. Naomi's rear view is better because it's more... It's, whoa! Uh -oh. Wow! Nia! I gotta give it to Nia! How? You gotta give it to Nia! I'm pretty sure Nia Jax just powerbombed it out of her. Nia's doing good! At least it wasn't completely one-sided. Come through, Nia. Asuka so quick and dangerous, and oh, look at this! Oh, Becky Lynch is finishing. It's fully extended, is Nia Jax gonna tap out? Is Nia Jax gonna Dude, Nia's so powerful, she should just pick too strong. Too strong. And she's looking for the Asuka lock. I don't think she has it in, though. Now up on the back here of Nia Jax. I don't think she has it all. She's trying to bring Nia Jax down to the ground. Oh. oh my god, that kick though. Maybe not. Oh, and another strike. Jax is down to one knee. Wow. The champ summoning what she needs to keep her champion. Maya Jax, a third strike to the side of the face and a fourth. Asuka to put away the challenger and Asuka to take her title. Really? Here is the for that scream. I thought that that was an obvious kick out scream, no? See, okay, I just need 
to go on a mini rant. No hate against Asuka. More kind of confusion toward Nia Jax. Why the fuck do they keep building Nia as like the top heel, but she literally keeps losing all these like title fights that she gets, right? It doesn't make sense. Come on, push Alexa Bliss, please push Alexa. Alexa can do it. Alexa's incredible. Push Alexa or Peyton Royce, please. That, I didn't understand this. Stop pushing Nia Jax. Stop pushing Nia. She keeps losing. Please push Peyton Royce, please. I'm surprised that she won like that, though. Asuka, Peyton Royce, book it. Would be amazing. Oh, no. Oh. No. No. Couldn't have been. Yeah, no. They each have a false finish now. Vince Russo hates that. This match is a dud! This match is a dud now, you got! Well, that's what, that's what storytelling's all about. I think Vince Russo's out of touch. Just a little bit. A lot of it. This is it! Fucking clutch! It's in! I'm through! The demon could be breathing his last breath right now. Corey Graves is great on commentating. He makes it so much more suspenseful and like really mysterious. Yeah, Corey Graves needs to be a main roster commentator. Yeah. Here we go. I just don't want there to be a BS finish. I want there to be a decisive finish, you know? Enough to buy himself some time, but Balor's got to do more. Been throwing Joe into the cage. I keep thinking the cage is gonna break. Oh, he's, oh. his face paint is melting off. That's gotta be annoying. Oh, feels like a mask on your face melting off. Is he gonna do the coquina clutch off the cage? Yep. No, no. Ah. Come on, let him do a spot before he fucking goes up to the main roster. He's gonna, if he does it, that's gonna be epic. Wait, okay. Coup de gras off the top of the cage, come on. Oh, he's trying to get out of the cage, okay. Well, that's a smart thing, technically. I know, but he needs to have a, like, a memorable spot in his last match. Come on. No, I think he's gonna, like, push Samoa Joe off. Like in back into the ring. We're gonna get a muscle buster up. Oh shit! No, okay. never mind. Wow, yeah. It's not on the cage though. Oh my god! That was crazy. That was epic. Samoa deserved that. One fair and square, and a decisive victory. Not a BS finish. I'm here for that. So if that was Balor's final match, do you think that was a good match to showcase his NXT career? Yeah. I agree. He had a really good showing, and he definitely will be missed in NXT if this is his final match. So I definitely recommend watching TakeOver. It was so good. Um, match of the night for me goes to American Alpha versus The Revival, with The Revival winning, shockingly. However, in a lot of ways it's not super shocking because, you know, American Alpha is going to be going to the main roster within the next few months, maybe within the month for the brand split, so I'm super stoked for that. And, um, Nia Jax. Never thought I'd be saying this, but damn, she's getting a lot better. Seriously, she impressed me. She really did. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. That girl has been working hard, and she's getting a lot better. So, um, yeah. What do you have to say? Um, the show is very good. I mean, Air my match of the night, it's a toss-up between Aries Nakamura and the tag team match. I'm a little, I guess I'm a little annoyed that the tag titles change hands, but at the same time, I mean, we, we but saw, why we, though? American Alpha is going to the main roster. They have well, to. Well, wait, not necessarily. No, there's rumors that they're going soon. No, no, but with what happened after the match, I don't know what that was exactly. But I personally thought the whole the whole thing was good. I mean, Joe Balor had a, had a good match. 
I was hoping for like a like a spot. There's been rumors about Bobby Roode. Like I said, it was definitely a good show, and I definitely recommend everyone to watch it. You know, there really wasn't much filler here. It was a straightforward show. Russia, take notes. And Vince McMahon needs to take notes. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe for way more videos. We'll be back in a few days for a topic video. We love you guys. Bye.